Hello everyone, we are discussing exercise 7.1, the 7th question. Earlier we have discussed the 6th question, in that sub 3 are the 1 half out, 2 will be as homo, you try yourself. Again, same similar or different, that is distance from y out of y and you have to solve it. The 7th question, which has repeatedly they are asking in your examination. So, all of them carefully observe it. Because these are the examination questions, this especially these kind of the problems, will ask you for 2 marks definitely. What is the question? Let me explain. Find the point on the x-axis. See, one more thing I will tell you. When the point on the x-axis is given to you, you must take the pair of points as like this. x is 0. Similar way, sometimes find the point on the y-axis they will ask you. If they ask you as y-axis, I know your answer is y, 0. But you all are wrong. y-axis will be present on the second pair of points. So, at that time, when they ask you y-axis, you must take 0 and y. This you remember. Another problem is there, which is at that time they have asked you as y axis. Maybe I think 9th or 10th question is there. So at that time I will tell you. Now observe, they are asking find the point on the x axis. It means we have to find the value of x. And one more thing, you, can, you have to notice that they have given these two pair of points are equidistance to the x axis. So what is the meaning of equidistance? Well, the meaning of equidistance is lying on the same distance. It means that this x comma 0 you have to take along with first time with the 2 comma minus 5 and the same x comma 0 you have to take with the second pair of points also. I think you understood. Remember, later on you will understand once I start the solution. x axis if they ask you x 0 you have to take as point. y axis once they ask you, you must take 0 comma y. Never take y comma 0 because you know y will be as the second, x will be as first pair of points. Let us solve this. This are the, this is not necessary. Now, equidistance development. So what I am doing, I will take these points x comma 0 plus with 2 comma minus 5. I will make a part, you could have to do the same thing in order to make two part. Second side, x comma 0, you have to take it along with minus 2 comma 9. Now you will be surprised which formula we have to apply. See this totally this exercise is based on distance formula. Surely both sides we have to apply the distance formula. Both the equations we have to compare. That's it. We get one x value. Let us see how we get it. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. Here also what's the line? x1, y1, x2, y2. Now first let me solve this side. Distance formula d is equal to square root of. What is that? x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Similar, I like here also, d is equal to square root of, you have to solve simultaneously like this only in examination. That side as well as this side, y2 minus y1 whole square. Easy you can do it. It is no problem. Now, d is equal to square root of this side, x2, 2 minus, this side what is it? x1 x1 itself is x whole square plus y2, y2 is nothing but minus 5, minus y1, 0 whole square. Therefore, d is equal to square root of 2 minus x, we can't do anything, right as it is plus, but this we can solve, minus 5 minus 0 is nothing but minus 5 square. Now further, d is equal to square root of, this as it is right, 2 minus x whole square plus of minus 5 square, you know, it is 25, so this I can say equation number 1. Now, as you come this side, d is equal to square root of, what about the x2? The x2 is minus 2, minus 2 minus, what about the x1? x1 is x itself, whole square plus y2, y2 is 9, 9 minus 2, y1 is nothing but 0, whole square. Now, further you can observe, d is equal to square root of, see here, minus 2 minus x whole square, keep as it is, minus 2 minus x whole square plus 9 minus 0 is nothing but 9 whole square. Now, d is equal to square root of, this as it is, don't do anything, minus 2 minus x whole square plus of 9 square is 81. So this I can give it as equation number 2. The next step, what is our next step? The next step, in the next step, we have to compare both the equation. Now your question, why do you have to compare? On what basis are comparing? They have given equidistance. Means that both the points are on the same distance. So at that time we can compare the both the equation. Once you compare the both the equation, what will be cancelled? Both side roots will get cancelled. Then further we can simplify. I hope you are written up here. 
this one minute time I will give you right now later on we will solve the further yeah write down system and again for a question no problem The next thing, what you are writing, compulsory you are writing a sentence. Compare one end. Compare one end. So both side D is D is there. It will be cancelled. Only the root part will be left like this. Root of minus two minus x whole square plus of thirty five, which is equals to square root of minus two minus x. Whole square plus eighty. Here you can observe equal sides there and both sides square root is there. So only the square roots both sides will be cancelled. Or else you can do squaring both sides here also and here also. It will be same as cancelling the square roots. Now we have to expand this. Two minus x whole square plus of twenty five, which is equals to here you can observe minus two minus x whole square plus of eighty. If we got this, now here we want an identity. Which identity we have to apply? A minus B whole square. So according to that, I will open it. So A square means two square minus two AB. Two A means two B means X. See here A square. Minus two a b plus b square that is x square plus of twenty five is equal to this side complete. I explain. I will explain once again. A square minus two a b a means two b means x plus b square means x square plus of twenty five is this. This side also we can apply a minus b whole square. So a square a square means here minus two is there. So minus two square. Minus two ab, two ab is nothing but minus two x plus b square is nothing but x square plus of ab. You can observe equal sides there. So equal terms, when equal sides comes, equal terms will be cancelled. That is x square and x square get cancelled. Other terms will not cancel. Just wait for simplification. Two square is four minus two two is four x plus of twenty five. Which is equals to two square minus two square is four plus four hmm? minus of minus plus of four x plus of eighty one. You can observe again two terms are equal. That is plus four and here also four. That will be cancelled. What will be left here? Here this don't cancel because here minus four x is there. This is plus four x is there. Directly do not cancel. Minus four x plus twenty five is equals to four x plus of eighty one. Do I mean these two terms shift this side? So this side plus side which are present? 4x plus 81 minus 4x shift this side plus of 4x plus 25 shift this side minus of 25 which is equals to zero. Now 4x plus 4x gives us 8x. Now 81 minus of 25. 11 minus 5 gives us 6. Carry 1. 8 minus of 3 gives us 56. So what can I write? It is plus 56, which is equal to zero. 8x is equal to minus 56. X is equal to minus 56 by 8. 8 seven. That is minus seven. So finally, we got the x value, but they are asking x axis. So at last you are right. Therefore, x comma zero, which is x means how much is there? Minus seven comma zero. That's it. So this side. If they ask for x axis, you need to find out the x value. Y will remain zero. Suppose if they are asking y axis, at that time what you have to take it zero comma y. That will see the next class. Thank you.